Hi everybody, happy Friday. Today's technology topic is the TeamViewer breach. It's um, quite interesting, not a lot of information out there yet, but definitely a little rabbit hole we can go down today. All right, so the summary is that TeamViewer was breached a couple days ago, maybe June 26th. They implemented their response processes and um, just started their investigation there, indicating that the breach is on their corporate IT network. And they've tried to clarify that that is not part of their production network. And so the production network is what we recognize as their actual product that we purchase. They're talking about their corporate IT network, which I'll sometimes say is like their administrative and their operations network. So no information on how it was breached has come out really yet, other than that they believe that it was a um, group called APT29, which is also known as um, Cozy Bear, Nobelium, and Midnight Blizzard. This group is a Russian-backed um, threat group. And some of the recent victims have been SolarWinds and, and Microsoft. Okay, and although TeamViewer is not a healthcare organization, the American Hospital Association has indicated that there is a health I, ISAC threat bulletin on this. I could not find it. I found the notice from the American Hospital Association, but I did not find the um, threat bulletin. So the statement from TeamViewer is as as follows. It said, on Wednesday, 26 June 2024, our security team detected an irregularity in TeamViewer's internal corporate IT environment. We immediately activated our response team and procedures. We started investigations together with a team of globally renowned cybersecurity experts and implemented necessary remediation measures. TeamViewer's internal corporate IT en environment is completely independent from the product environment. There's no evidence to suggest that the product environment or customer data is affected. Investigations are ongoing and their primary focus remains to ensure the integrity of their systems. Security is of the utmost importance for us. It's deeply rooted in our DNA. Therefore, we value transparent communication and will continuously update the status of our investigations as new information becomes available. This was on their website. They actually have updates as well. So if you want to follow the communication from team viewer then i suggest you go to their site and again uh, notice that they did try to clarify that their internal corporate it environment is totally separate from their product environment so the american hospital association um, is a national organization that represents and serves all types of hospitals. And the reason that this is important is for them to come out and say, hey, you want to kind of watch this team viewer thing. And the fact that they said that the health ISAC has posted a bulletin, which I have not found yet, um, that means that there may be some um, some patterns or, or evidence, um, traces of some hospitals being um, at least attempts to access their site through team viewers or some ir irregularities in network ac access. So um, the American Hospital Association was founded in 1898 and they provide education for healthcare leaders and their source of information for healthcare issues and trends. So APA 29 is Advanced Persistent Threat 29. Again, they're um, a Russian hacking group. They're known as Kazi Bear Nobelium. I'm not sure I spelled that right. And Midnight Blizzard. Mandiant, um, which is a prominent cybersecurity firm, has um, used this naming convention. So this is their naming convention. And APT stands for Advanced Persistent Threat. Some other ones that they use is FIN, F-I-N, which is Financially Motivated Groups, and UNC, which is an Uncategorized Threat Groups. There are other um, acronyms that they use or um, shortcuts and abbreviations. This category, APT, is used for state-sponsored groups that engage in what they call prolonged and sophisticated cyber es espionage activities. The first APT documented was APT-1, and I think they were known as the Comet Crew or the Shanghai Group. It was a cyber espionage group associated, I think, with the Chinese military, and um, I think that was around 2013. And Mandiant is uh, supported or part of Google now, and so they've had a little bit of a travel. I think they started around 2003, I think. 
All right, so, um, oh, here you go. So Mandiant is a leading cybersecurity firm known for its advanced threat intelligence, incident response, and comprehensive cyber defense solutions. Its integration into Google Cloud aims to enhance its capabilities and extend its reach in the cybersecurity landscape. So TeamViewer, TeamViewer is, is a company, it's a global leader in innovative remote connectivity and support solutions. In 2005, small company based in Southern Germany invented a software to connect to their customers' computers and showcase new applications remotely. And that's basically what this group, this company does. It has a lot of solutions and products and they are uh, very well known. NCC group, some of the articles that I read um, attribute this group to having um, brought it to our attention that TeamViewer may have um, been compromised. And so NCC group is a global cyber and software resilience business operating across multiple sectors, geographies, and technologies. I think this was, was on Mastodon, and um, this group was, like I said, maybe uh, partially credited with bringing this to people's attention. And here's their little company byline, their mission or whatever. We assess, develop, and manage cyber threats across our increasingly connected society. We advise global technology manufacturers, financial institutions, critical na national infrastructure providers, retailers, governments on the best way to keep their business safe. What is MDSISC? So this is part of um, the whole health ISAC thing. And so this is a medical device security information sharing council. So that means um, look for companies that create, build, and manufacture medical devices. And so the medical device security information sharing council is a collaborative group within the health information sharing and analysis center, which is what we just said, the health ISAC, the MD. SISC focuses on enhancing the security of medical devices by developing and sharing best practices, solutions, and information among its members, which include medical device manufacturers and healthcare delivery organizations. So if you work in the healthcare industry of some sort, you might come across um, companies that might give you a list of some of their um, MD SISC kind of features and answers to questions that will help you determine whether it is a cyber secure or cyber resilient piece of equipment that can be allowed on your network. So Health ISAC is um, same, kind of the same thing as the Health Information Sharing and Analysis Center. It does um, encourage membership, and, but it's a global nonprofit member-driven organization offering healthcare stakeholders trusted community and forum for coordinating, collaborating, and sharing vital physical and cyber threat intelligence and best practices which, with each other. So Dutch Digital Trust Center, this goes back to the NC group. Um, this is a web portal used by the government, security experts, and Dutch corporations to share information about cyber se uh, security threats. And this goes back to the team viewer announcement on Mastodon. All right, so what do you do if, if you think you're part of this or you think you might be susceptible to a team viewer kind of attack? Again, awareness training is always important. So regardless of whether you think you are or are not um, vulnerable to this particular attack or something similar, you you want to make sure that everyone is trained on awareness about cybersecurity, everything from social engineering to um, just being a little bit more cognizant that you will be a victim at some point. Implement multi-factor authentication. This is very important for the team viewer thing and for any remote desktop product. Enforce role-based privileges. Uh, this is another important one. You want to make sure that you minimize your risk and part of minimizing your risk and part of just good um, cyber hygiene is to make sure that all roles are, um, the privileges are based on the role. Consider removing or blocking quick assist. I think that was actually from uh, another breach, but um, any any um, blocking and limiting of access to things is very important. And then, of course, update and review all your allow and block lists, block unauthorized remote management domains. Um, Again, this was from another issue. I think this was actually a Microsoft issue. 
um, enable tamper protections, do everything you can with your firewall and your infection uh, prevention and your intrusion detection. By enhancing awareness and implementing some security measures, you can protect against um, some social engineering attacks, which usually end up being the first step to these kind of attacks. I won't be surprised if it wasn't a phishing attack that um, was um, advanced. So some of the credits, again, are the American Hospital Association, Bleeping Computer, Mandiant. Didn't have a lot of um, articles that I read this time. I did go to Team Viewer site for their actual statement. I can't believe I didn't put that on here. And then, um, like I said, I did go to the Health ISAC site to try to find a threat bulletin, and I could not find that either. So maybe they're just a little bit behind in posting that. And then again, so the team viewer breach is um, bubbling as a big story. And I think it's part, partially because people are worried about the product and the production portion of team viewer having been the breach. So, for, But right now they are saying it is only on the corporate IT side. So everybody needs to watch this a little bit carefully. Team viewer has always been blocked at the site, at the locations where I have worked. So I know that they have thousands of customers, but I don't think any place that I have worked has has had um, has allowed us to use them. Uh, good luck. Um, hope you keep up with your cyber news. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.